morning, Bearcats. This is Gabe with your announcements. Valentine's Day is coming up. Show your friends or significant other that you care by sending a treat. The culinary program is selling candy grams and cookies that will be delivered to your Valentine for only a dollar. A cart will be set up in the lunchroom where you can place your order or you can see a member of the culinary program in room 126. Now, on to your weather with Holton. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your weather for the day. Today will be cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 31. We will have a 20% chance of rain and wind will be up by 7 miles per hour. During around 3 is when it's expected to be the hottest, which is again is around 45, 46. Early in the morning, around when we come to school, it's supposed to be around 29 degrees. So if it rains, it'll start snowing. Don't get your hopes up for a snow day. On to your next segment. Good morning, Bearcats. Here's your COVID updates. We have had almost a total of 400,000 cases, and almost all of them are 100% confirmed. Not all of them are confirmed because they are having symptoms, but they, we don't know if they actually have COVID or the flu. Make sure to wear your mask at all times, and deaths have risen to almost 4,500. That's a lot. Remember, if you're going out of state, make sure to quarantine for 14 days before coming back to school. And also, if you're going out of state, make sure to bring your mask and extra ones. You don't know if you're going to lose it or if you're going to have to go somewhere else. Also, for large groups from the Super Bowl, but still, make sure to wear your mask still. We don't want anyone else getting sick. That's your COVID updates for the day. Bearcats, on to your next segment. Hi, welcome to a little positive info because we can all use some optimism. Investors who beat Wall Street by buying GameStop shares paid it forward by donating winnings to charity. Beginning last week, internet users began buying shares of retail company GameStop on the stock market. The crowd vesting strategy paid off for Reddit users who had banned together against the hedge fund titans by using a non-traditional disruptive tactic. GameStop stock prices went through the roof from $43 to $323 in one week, leaving the Reddit group with a sizable profit, which inspired the idea to pay it forward. Hunter Khan, a 20-year-old Cornell student, racked in $30,000 in GameStop profits. While the bulk of that will be spent financing his education, Khan also used part of his stash to purchase and donate Nintendo Switch games and consoles valued at $20,000 to a local children's hospital. Khan states on Instagram, quote, As a beneficiary of the recent events on Wall Street, I think it is important that myself and others pay forward our good fortune. Unquote. But the Robin Hood of the group might be Jamath Pilahapatiya, who is an early executive at Facebook. His initial $115,000 purchase of GameStop shares turned into $500,000, and he donated all of it to the Barstool Fund a new COVID-19 charity that gives cash payments to small businesses that are going out of business. Quote, I want to announce that I'm taking all the profits I made, plus my original position, so I'm going to take $500,000 and I'm going to donate to the Barstool Fund for Small Businesses. Unquote. This has been a little positive info. Looking on the bright side with you. Now on to your next segment. If any teacher, staff, or students have anything they'd like to be announced, please email us at bearcatbroadcast at anderson.kyschools.us. Thanks for watching and have a great day.